Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Amelie Santini and this is a glow up with me for junior year video. This is part of my back to school video series, but it's my first time ever making a glow up with me for school. So I'm super excited. Uh, I'm a little bit scared because I have some really fun ideas like dyeing my eyebrows and doing a fake tan, but I've never done that before. So let's hope it all works out. Okay. Oh my God. Wait, I think that's not good. What happened? But I'm gonna take you guys along through this whole journey. So let's get started. So I just woke up. It's like eight right now. I just took a shower. I showered only with shampoo. My hair is wet, as you can tell. I just brushed it. And now I'm gonna apply like a hair mask. And I'm gonna leave that on for the whole day while I go to the gym and do other things. And then I'm gonna come home and like just rinse it out. So that's the plan for my hair. I'm gonna be using this to mix it. The base, I'm gonna be using a conditioner. So this is the conditioner. Then I'm going to use this. This is what you use to take this out. And she also has olive plex number one. She's only to put a couple drops in here. So first off, I'm just going to put a little bit here. This is how much I put. It's not that much. I have a feeling I'm going to maybe need to put more. And she said like only like a little bit. Okay, this one is good. This is so fun. It's like making a little potion. Now I'm just going to add a couple drops of Olaplex. Okay, it smells good. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put it in a slick back ponytail using this so that I can actually like go to the gym and stuff. So I'm just going to brush it back right now. I put a little scrunchie so that I can see where to put the position in so that it stays like in the right shape. Yeah, we had a little change of plans. <laughs> oh, see, that's actually not that bad. That actually works. I'm just gonna slap this on there. It's gonna go everywhere anyway. I feel like it's gonna fall off. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Well, okay. I'm supposed to like look, you know, like I need some help during the beginning of the video, so this kind of fits perfectly. Okay, <laughs> this is kind of how it's looking right now. To be honest, I have a feeling it might fall off while I'm in the gym or while I'm doing my nails. But it's okay. We're gonna leave it on. I need to eat breakfast right now and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the gym. That's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna take you guys with it. I'm gonna try to film inside. And I know I said that in my last video, but I'm actually gonna try this time. And then after, I'm gonna go to the nail salon and then come back. And then once I come back, I'll give you guys a new items list that we're gonna do next. So yeah, let's go to the gym. water bottle and then in my bag I'm gonna bring my keys and my headphones which my hair is dried a little bit yeah it's pretty dry now it's actually kind of hard but anyway that means that it's not gonna make these dirty so it's not gonna damage them and then my sweater so yeah let's go I didn't film that much because in the other areas where it was like the actual machines there were a lot of people and I didn't want to include people that like you know didn't want to be in videos and everything so I only filmed the parts that was only me in it but at least I filmed I'm gonna take this off it's really hot uh my ponytail has actually lasted or my braid has actually lasted quite a bit um if you saw through my exercise I was kind of like laying on it so I had to like you know tighten it like this it's nice you know I was expecting it to fail but it's doing pretty good now I'm gonna go to do my nails
on. And before we go in, I just want to show you guys like what my nails look like. This is what my nails look like. I mean, they're pretty good. They're just grown out. Let me show you my inspo picture, which is not that complicated. It's not complicated at all, actually. It's just one color. <laughs> Something kind of like this color. I like that color, but um, longer. I can also, hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna do this. See how it's like the shape? Hmm, I'm gonna do this. Save, that's such a good idea. I'm definitely gonna do that. And now we're gonna go in and I'm actually gonna get my nails done. Look how nice they came out. I'm speechless. The red is so nice. It's, it's giving badass. It's giving me confidence for the school year. I'm actually so happy with these. She did such a nice job. I'm actually happy. Okay, now that we know with the nails, these took about like two hours. Now we're gonna go home and we're gonna do the rest. Hello, I'm home now. I changed my shirt. Right now, we're gonna be doing the fake tan on my face as contour, the viral hack that went around on TikTok. All the videos that I've seen, everyone just looks so much better after, like they have this like glow, and that's what I'm going for. My fake tanning is the Lounge Tan Tour Express in the color medium. My mom actually bought this, this is not new. She's used it, she liked it. I tried it, I didn't really like it on me, on my body, but I know that it's the right color for me, so that's good. So every time like I see a video, I see like, see she does it like that. She does it with like a little br blush. I think this is a good one. I'm gonna do it like here, you know. First, it's said to like shake it. And I'm gonna put it here. I got a little bit. Also, just to kind of explain what's going on, what I'm putting on my face, I'll wash out and then it's gonna leave a little bit of color. So I'm not gonna look this crazy once this is over. I can't tell if it's actually doing anything. Like, I feel like it's not that dark. Like, I feel like it's gonna not show, but okay, let's just keep going. I like this, this looks good. I just, I think I'm gonna go over it again. Okay, see, that was like, <laughs> ah, let's, let's keep going. If this goes wrong, I'll just put foundation on it. Like, you know, like, yeah, okay. So I'm trying to blend it a little more. And then I did it here. And see, like, that's the only thing I've used. I haven't, like, refilled it. That was actually kind of a lot. Okay, now let's do my nose. <laughs> this is scary because I don't want it to look like a line. But, hold on. I'm also not very good at contouring my nose. I think that's what I said to do it like this. So I look like I have, like, a button nose. This looks so funny. Oh, my lips. I should do a little bit on my lips. I don't know if that's gonna look bad. Okay, I'll try it. Also, I'm not actually doing it on my lip. I'm doing it, like on the outline of it. I feel like that made no difference. Like I can't even see it. Okay, I think I didn't even do anything, but I don't wanna go too overboard and it like look bad. I like this side. This side I'm not so sure about. I don't know, I don't know. My first time doing this. I'm gonna set up a 30 minute timer. See how it looks in 30 minutes and if anything i'll leave it on for like an hour but i don't think i'm gonna leave it on for two hours i think that's gonna be too much because well okay i started my bath my thing it's gonna end at one now we're gonna be dying my eyebrows it's my first time doing this i picked this one out i went to target this was like the only like medium brown that there was oh dark brown because it was like medium dark and like black and i know i don't have black hair so we're just gonna go with dark brown i mean they're not light i just feel like if i colored them in a little bit more they would look more full it says to apply put color base into tray i'm only gonna put a little bit because i don't know how much this is gonna last me i'm just gonna put like oh okay like that much and now color developer Okay, now it says to mix with the bottom of the handle. It's good. This is not brown, but it says dark. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this. I 
I've also heard from people that it doesn't matter if you go like outside the lines because it only colors your hair. So it's a little messy right now, but I think that's fine. It should be fine. I'm not gonna lie, it's burning a little bit. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, I think that's not good. What happened? Okay, I cleaned it out, but I don't know if that was like a mix between like my the thing that I just Oh. <gasps> it's there too. Oh my god, it's developing. I'm a little bit panicking. I'm gonna take off these damn gloves off. I don't know if this is happening because it's touching the tan, the fake tan. I think that was not a good idea. I should have done it separately. And it looks like it's staining my skin. Should not be happening by all the TikTok girlies. I said that wouldn't happen. <gasps> oh my god, look here. I'm just gonna try to clean it off. Oh my god, also how am I gonna clean this off without cleaning the tan off? Oh my god. I actually look crazy. I don't know if I should be cleaning it off. I got it on my shirt. Damn, that's really upsetting. I'm a little bit panicking right now. <laughs> oh, this looks so bad. It's getting darker. Oh my god, guys, it's time. I rinsed it with water, and I'm just gonna like... Guys, it's not coming. Oh my god. You know what? This is worst case scenario. Oh my god, it's not coming off. Okay, guys, this is an emergency. So, I'm gonna use this, a cleaning oil. Okay, that's working. <gasps> that's working. Is it? Am I being delusional? I can't tell. Okay, at least here, it's coming off a little bit, but not here. I'm like really rubbing it in there. You can see that my face is getting red. I'm panicking. Guys, I'm calming down a little bit. At least the front, I can't tell if it looks darker. I mean, yeah, right? The only problem now is the sides not coming off. It's okay, it's okay, it's gonna come off. I'm gonna make it come off. Okay. It ruined my shirt. I'm a little scared, but <sighs> it looks darker. Let me like brush it and see. All the tan faked in here, gone. I wiped it all away. I think it did get darker. You know what I also think? I think that I tinted my face. I'm gonna try using this now. This is like a cleansing balm. All I'm trying to do is get it to like not stain my face. Yeah, they look darker. I just can't tell if they still stained my face. But I think it's gonna wash off now and I'm also gonna clean it again once I, I wash my hair. So I'm not panicking anymore. It's time, let's clean my face. Final look. The tan did a little bit. Um, here. The tan, I'm gonna let it see if it's gonna get better. If anything, I'm just gonna do it again tonight. Cause at least it's better than it being like really bad. At least it's not enough versus it being too much. But yeah, now I'm just gonna like wait, wait and see. I'm gonna eat lunch and then we'll see what we do after that. Hey, I ate lunch and I needed like I started like looking at my eyebrows and I started being like okay They look really dirty, right? It looks like it's really stained But the problem was that I just had like a lot of hairs like here when I put the dye on those hairs It made them more Noticeable, you know, like it made them stand out more, but basically it looked really dirty I can put a picture of before of like my eyebrows and then after like I cleaned it and by cleaning it I mean like plucking my eyebrows out. I didn't really do anything anymore to like clean it after everything that you guys saw so yeah, I mean, it's good. I like it. I did clean it up on the sides. I used both like this. And then I also used this. I went like this. I like how they turned out. I actually do like them. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna rinse this out. It's gonna be like my everything shower, right? So I'm gonna exfoliate, I need to shave. And then after I shower, I'm gonna laser my legs, like laser hair removal my legs. So yeah, I'll be right back. Hello. I just rinsed my hair, I also shaved. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some products to my hair to like kind of hydrate. Even though it's already super hydrated, it smells so good because the hair mask stayed on for so long, which is great. The two products they usually apply are this, the Amino 
This is really good for like when I'm blow drying my hair because this is a heat protectant. And then this one, K18, it's new. I just got it. And also for this, I definitely do recommend it by the way. So many people ask me like whenever they come over and they see it, they're like, oh, do you recommend it? I get that much. Then I like go like this till it turns like white. And then I just like go through my hair. Okay, I just did that one. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of lean and then more when I'm blow drying. I'm gonna leave the door open. Now I'm gonna get everything so that we can laser. I brought you to the floor. Okay, we're on the floor because I have no other way, like no idea of other way to do this. This is a laser hair removal I'm gonna be using. It is my mom's. She said that it doesn't sell this brand anymore, but I'm gonna try to find it and the link will be down below. I'm trying to find something similar to it at least. I moved you guys a little closer so that this would reach. I plugged it in and I'm gonna do like my leg so you guys can like see. I think that's the whole point of this setup. First, you press here, like on. See, I, now it's at one. One is too little. I used to do it two years ago, and I know that I would always do like five, but because I don't remember it, like it's been a while, I'm gonna start at three, and then like move my way up. So you just like keep pressing it until it goes to three. See that, like they didn't even feel anything. Like I just felt it being hot. I'm gonna do it at four now. I'm keeping my eyes closed because you can't look at the flash when you press the button to laser your legs and I always forget so that's why I'm covering them. I'm gonna do here now but I'm just gonna cut it to when I'm doing my armpits because this is kind of everything I'm gonna be doing and I'm just doing this part. I'm not doing my legs. Now I'm doing my armpits. I'm starting at two. You know, it's more sensitive and stuff. Oh, that wasn't that bad at all. I can do three. Yeah, and then one little one right here. There you go. Using a laser hair removal comes in such clutch because for me, for example, I get like irritations here from shaving. So by getting rid of all the hairs, I'm getting rid of like the problem with just shaving. So it's great. And it doesn't hurt as much as waxing. Now I'm gonna blow out my hair and then I'm going to do my makeup. So yeah. Guys, we did it. I feel so much more confident. And it's not even just about like the looks, you know? It's about how it makes you feel. It makes me feel more put together. I love the red nails. I love how my hair feels. My eyebrows turned out great. The fake tan turned out great. This was a roller coaster of emotions, but we made it through and it turned out great. I'm so happy with the results. Everything I used will be linked down below so you guys can get it as well. And if you have any questions about this whole process, comment down below. While you're at it, maybe hit the subscribe button because if you like this content, you'll probably like my other ones. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.